guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peter Gay and you're watching Peter Gay's Passion. Um, thank you for tuning in to another episode of my kitchen renovation series. In this episode, I will be um, building a refrigerator cabinet um, for my fridge that's right behind me. Um, just very simple um, process, just frame out the sides, add shelving up top, and, I, and that should be it. So let's get right into this video. So I already have my wood cut to size. Um, here it is right here. It's just a piece of ply board. And when you, okay, so when you do go ahead and cut and get your wood cut, just measure a few inches less than where your fridge stops, just so your door isn't banging into the cabinet. So I have this here, it's about eight feet tall. I would really love it to go all the way up to the ceiling but home depot did not have wood that goes all the way to nine feet so i just got the eight foot but i'll figure something out so i got that side and i also got my wood for this side as well Okay guys, so I didn't realize what I was doing when I was screwing it up, but I went ahead and removed this panel from the whole um, side because this panel, it's very, it's shorter. It's shorter than this panel. And the reason being is because I have this, my chimney's behind this wall. So this panel is gonna come right here to meet up with my chimney wall. Um, so that's why I went ahead and that's why I unscrewed that and I just have my cabinet looking like this. I'll show you. It has a better angle. So yeah, it's like it's leaned up against my stove right now, but I just have the piece of plywood on this side with my supports going in the middle. So right now I'm gonna find the the studs in this wall and screw this to the wall. So hopefully this makes more sense to you guys. Um, but there it is, it's all screwed into the wall. That I did not remove the tile back there because the fridge is going there and no one's gonna see it. Same thing with over there. Like I removed the tile, but the cabinet's going there. So um, no one's gonna see it. So yeah, I really wanted to put this going all the way back, but I don't have any room on this side because my stove is there. A cabinets here and then that's the end of the wall so um yeah i just wasn't able to but this will work so right now i'm going to do the roof
right now I'm gonna measure from floor to about 70 inches tall. I measure it up to 70 because according to Google, 70 is the standard height of a fridge. So I can add like this strip of wood just right up top, just so I can use this, um, just, just so it looks nicer and so I can have a reference for when I put the shelves in. So I'm just gonna mount this right now. Right now I just have these trim pieces that I will be adding to the outside corners like right here and right over there just so it cleans it up so and like so it looks nicer so I'm just gonna use my nail gun just nail those in what it is. I'm we'll turning the brightness down. Okay, better. So this is what it's looking like. Looks really nice. Just um just gives it a nice frame. There we go. Right now I'm just gonna sand um you can see those patches, those like white kind of patches. That's just um putty. So I'm going to sand all my wood putty that I had put on. I'm also going to sand, um, I did put some in the cracks of where it meets. So I'm also going to sand that and then I, and I will come back and show you guys what it's looking like. But it's really starting to take shape. Alright guys, so I went ahead and slid the fridge right into place and it fits perfectly. I'm going to show you guys. So there it is, it fits nicely. And I left that gap up top just... Um, in the future, if we did, if we do decide to, to get like a different fridge, it might be a little taller fridge, so that way it will fit. But right now, I'm just going to um, install the shelf. So I have this cut to size. It's gonna go and sit right up top there. And I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, I installed a two by four um, to the studs just to be support. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just slide this in, nail it down, and then. We should almost be to the finish of building this um, cabinet.
guys, so I'm not sure the last thing that you guys saw, but as you can see, I covered over the plywood with some smooth, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's like a really smooth wood. This, I'm so upset right now because when I went to Home Depot the first time to get my material, I asked the guy, can this be sanded down and painted nicely? He said, yes. I never listen to people whenever I go out shopping. Um, no matter where I go, Walmart, Target, like wherever I go, I don't listen to the people who work there because half the time they don't know what they're talking about. And yet again, it never fails. And I'm not sure why I listened to them this time, but I did. I got the wrong wood in the first place, but it's okay. It's all good now. I got new wood to cover over the plywood excuse me so I covered over the plywood and then I had to redo all of my molding again and re-putty and re-sand and redo all of that but ugh, I can't even right now but it's all taken care of it's all good and I also went ahead and added um a cabinet door up top I know I said I wasn't going to do a door but the opening was just way too big um so I went ahead and added a door here but I'm going to keep a top shelf there just to put like cookbooks and like decorations and stuff up there. So I'll show you guys what it's looking like inside. So there it is. I just went ahead and trimmed that out here with some white wood that I had in my basement. And that's what it's looking like inside. So very nice. Um, so pretty much, this is pretty much done. Right now, I'm just going to start by priming the whole entire um, thing. As you guys can see, I primed the whole thing. I also painted it white. I even went ahead and started putting some things into the cabinet. But right now, I'm going to extend the cabinet all the way to the ceiling because I do not like how it sits lower than the ceiling. So that's what I'm going to do right now. guys and this is what the fridge cabinet is looking like this is kind of too bright let me turn it down 
but yeah I wanted the frame on the outside so that's what the frame is looking like when you walk in because this is the back door over here so when you walk in you get a straight shot to this with that nice frame and that's there it is it looks really good go on this side and show you there it is I have yet to found to find um, decorations and cookbooks and whatever but that's the least of my worries I can do that at a later date but this is what it's looking like with my fridge fitting perfectly in place then once you open the door see I, can, I already have stuff in there so perfect this came in handy um, but yeah there it is it looks amazing especially in person since I extended that all the way up to the ceiling it makes the ceilings feel taller when you walk in and that's what I really wanted so there it is it looks nice don't mind that little piece of crime molding I have to buy just a little piece more to fill that but I'm not really too worried about that um, it looks nice and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye